Well, today is the big day. 6.11 local time. Sorry for the darkness, but inside the car it's still dark as heck outside. So I just, I went through that crazy pass. Man, I'm telling you, in the dark, well, you know, it's not too bad, but you cannot drive fast over there. Like locals were passing me, you know, because I had to be careful because the road is really zigzagging, you know. Some curves are really, you know, you, you gotta be like 25 miles per hour. So finally my Costa Rica clothes uh, came in handy. So these are my quick dry pants. The only problem is that they're super thin, you know, because they're designed for hot weather. And I feel like a girl wearing stockings right now, whereas outside it's probably, it's less than 50 F. It's like eight plus eight Celsius. But during the day, so I'm, I'm guessing we're gonna we're gonna go on one of these buses over there like oh, actually very small nice looking buses but if they fill them up like they said up to 16 people that means that there will be somebody sitting right next to me you know and i need the room for my backpack so i managed to squeeze both of my cameras in the backpack so i had to throw out a bunch of stuff so basically i still have like they said be here at 6 45 and they gave me the name of my guide and the office of this company that I booked. Is that then building in the front? Actually, I stopped by here yesterday. Uh, wanted to make sure that I still on for today because I booked this on Tuesday because it, I found them at like six o'clock p.m. on Tuesday and I called them, nobody's answering. So I went to their website and allows you it allows you to book the trip you know and it's called lower i forgot but they said it's the most popular one you know it's like takes like 10 to 12 hours it's the most popular tour in yellowstone because that's where most wildlife uh watching you know and photography is happening and i went to their office the door is locked or i came here on the next day i came here on wednesday morning because nobody emailed me, nobody texted me. I paid them 317 bucks US online. And uh, and I was getting worried that thinking that, you know, I just wasted 317 bucks. But then the guy texted me, asked me for my breakfast preference. Because on the website you, you put in breakfast and lunch. So I wasn't sure about breakfast, so I skipped it, but I told them what I want for lunch. And the guy says, Yeah, we received your your payment everything is good your guide clara would would will meet you at 6 45 uh thursday morning in front of our office because i told them because you actually they can pick you up at the hotel if you tell them what hotel you're staying but uh, basically hotels in this area right i was too far away i was on I idaho side and uh, so i said the one of the choices there was meet at the office location and I know where they are now, right? So I came here yesterday just also to reconnaissance the area, you know, where do I leave my car, right? I wasn't sure, do they have parking? So now I know they have a lot, that's a huge plaza here. There's a bank, there's a restaurant, you know, offices. So it's perfectly fine to leave the car here. And I'm not gonna have any valuables in. Just gonna lock it. And, uh, and so, yeah, they asked me for my, breakfast preference and i said do you have anything without cheese and the guy says well we can give you a some kind of muffin one of them was blueberry and uh, a fruit cup i said okay i'll take blueberry muffin and a fruit cup but i'm just gonna throw that muffin away you know just eat the fruit oh and this is something cool i bought for my Costa Rica trip, which never happened, right? This is Grail self-filtering water bottle. So right now it's just filled with my regular water from, uh, from uh, you know, I had a jug of water in my hotel, in my cabin, so I put it in. But I'm gonna take it with me and basically, so with this, I can I can drink water out of a lake, out of a river, and I'm pretty sure we're gonna come close to one of those streams because i'm i think we'll be visiting one of those hot guys geysers geysers right and so i can use this just to 
take the water and then it filters it, it kills all bacterial viruses you know uh, it's a nice little bottle I, I found it in the recommendation in uh, among recommendations for people traveling to Costa Rica you know and actually somebody was asking me like aren't I glad that I didn't go to Florida remember I, my plan was to go to Florida right and then go like visit Everglades and then go to uh, Yellowstone and then I realized wait a second if I do this in this order then the weather in Yellowstone can be pretty bad in October and so I decided to go to Yellowstone first and then to Florida and I'm thinking wait from Yellowstone to Florida is like 4,000 kilometers and it's like 3,000 miles what am I nuts and then Costa Rica right the guy was saying no don't visit now like the the tour company the guy says no it's not good I don't know what he says half of the places are closed he says that Osa Peninsula where I wanted to go he says they're closed like what he says best way is to come here he says between December and April the dry season and so uh, they they built me a they built me a route for like 4500 US for 10 days um, but I told him, I said, my, I'm sorry, my plans changed. My boss is sending me to Western Canada for three weeks. I cannot fly to Costa Rica now. No, I didn't know what to tell him, right? What I, I changed my mind. They all start bugging me, right? But I'm, I'll, I have that route. I'm still registered on that website. So uh, I might go maybe next year, you know, before April when it's good weather. Maybe when it's very cold here, I can just fly down there straight from Calgary because yeah after this I already lined up a couple of real estate uh, agents in Calgary so once I'm done here then you have one or two days uh, stop in uh, Glacier National Park and after that I'm driving to Calgary and start looking for my apartment the second real estate property in my life the first one was a old ugly condo apartment in Guelph Ontario but I did repairs to it. It looked actually pretty nice, but the building was like 1977. So I can find something much better in Calgary, you know. We stopped at the Oxbow Bend turnout. This is the Snake River. Very beautiful spot here with the mountains in the distance. And the water is pretty still. Good, good reflections in the water. You're a really big national park person. Anyone been to a bunch of the national parks? No. No? Is this anyone's first national park? No. Okay, that's good. the old faithful there's a big lodge over here and a bunch of people in the front there those are here to see the eruption of the geyser which which is supposed to happen in five minutes They say it's the biggest one in Yellowstone National Park. And that's as close as you want to be because they say this thing will go off by about uh, 100 feet in the air. And there's a special phone number you can call and the park service tells you estimated estimated uh, 
eruption time and our our guard our guard called I'm just trying to find a good angle here our guard called and she put the phone on the speakerphone and the guy said it's 10.30 so we're here at 10.30 and then the bus picks up, up picks us up again at uh, 10.50 This is what the this is what the lodge looks inside. It's all wood. Lots of wood. Very tall ceilings. And this clock. It's no no batteries, right? It just uses yeah. weights, yeah. like old style. And then yeah. somebody just has to pull down weights. Well, it's self winding, so it has like a. It gets to the point, and then it winds itself back up, and it gets. Oh to really? Wind itself back up, so that's, nobody has to go out there. And, oh, that's pretty cool. I was inside those uh, cylinders. Some so, water. Well, it had been sand. Sand. <laughs> Once upon a, so once upon a time that was the mechanism, but now they don't shift anymore. Okay. So the new mechanism is a triangular weights. Okay, cool. So we left the buckets. Thanks a lot. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Very cool watch. And they have all kinds of souvenirs over here. There's a there's a shop, you see you can buy pictures here. There's a, there was a coffee shop on the second floor. I went up there. Check out these doors. Yeah. I went out to the second floor where it's supposed to be a coffee shop and they say it's all closed for the season but there's a snack bar there's a snack bar on the first floor oh check this out Frank J. Haynes photographer 47, 47, 68, that is 68. Renowned photographer of Yellowstone National Park. Hmm. Set up a photographic studio in Yellowstone's Upper Geyser Basin. Basin. Okay, where's our bus? Somewhere here. Are you Clara? I am Clara. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just making sure with all the clothes change, right? Yeah. The voice is the same. Guys, yeah. I literally warned you. I said I was going to take a new outfit. <laughs> That's why we said it. So you're now, now you're going to be in my YouTube video. Oh, nice. Uh, I'm sorry. YouTube. Yeah. How'd you guys like old baseball? Well, the, did, you, did you know the, the coffee shop on the second floor? I know. Closed. I 
for the season. I saw that, I cried a little because I wanted my last Old Faithful latte. I thought that was going to be how I but ended I, my season. I learned something cool about the watch, the, the clock. Did you what see about the, the clock? Did you see that clock there with big weights? Yeah. I asked them how does it work and they say it's self-winding. So once those weights go down, then it self-winds itself back up. Oh, like really? there's no electricity. Well, maybe there is electricity, but no, the big- I know, I tried to yell to you that I'd, I'd come get you and then you started work walking up. I thought I saw you. boardwalk over here it goes in a circle you go like that and you come back and we have these geysers yeah it started raining a little bit but just not too bad just drizzling but my camera is yeah I'm not sure about the lens but the camera is protected there's like hot steam coming up everywhere so this is Excelsior Geyser Crater. Yeah, pretty cool. Hope they dry. <laughs> I'm gonna go heat up the bear. Okay. Slippery, yeah. I almost fell down.
check out these views guys it's unbelievable another falls in the distance here Can, can we get out? Too close. Go can, ahead, can we go, get out? Go, go. Get out, but stay close to the van. Do stay not go on that sidewalk. Way too close. It's <laughs> gas, I guess. Is that the smell? Gas. It's sulfur. Yeah. Sulfur? Sulfur, yeah. I'm giving it that rotten egg smell. Wow. Just people hike up and see it. Yeah, really strong. Wow. We're just going to do it from the car. We're not going to hike up. But there it is. That's the mud volcano, guys. stopped for lunch and the tour company supplied the breakfast and lunch and this is a uh, lake lodge which is located right next to uh, Yellowstone Lake big bunny body little bunny feet you guys see what I'm talking about left side of the road no it's that view that's like right in front of us to the left. Oh, we're looking way out there now. Oh, no, no, no. Closer to us. Sorry about that. Those are the Grove Mountains. Beautiful, but not important for that. 